Hey everybody, today's tech tip is all about the gap. Now that's an important word that has several different meanings in the automotive industry. One definition is becoming extremely popular because of the drag racing shows that are on TV. A gap at the drag strip is best described as putting a whooping on your competitor and being ahead in a big way. Another definition of gap has to do with piston rings. It is the amount of space in between the ends of the ring when it is in the bore and at ambient temperature. The amount of gap is based on what the engine is actually going to be used for. Naturally aspirated, nitrous, and supercharged engines all require different amounts of gap. MALA is our official piston and bearing supplier, and this is their recommendations for piston ring gap dependent on the engine's application. The bore size is multiplied by MALA's recommended gap based on expansion. It specifies the ring gap for the top and second ring based on the engine's use, from naturally aspirated street engines up to turbo or supercharged engines and their specified boost levels. Notice how the gap increases as the power level rises. This is due to the amount of heat generated by cylinder pressure. With more cylinder pressure, more heat is generated and that causes thermal expansion of the ring. The gap is increased to keep the ring ends from butting up against themselves, which will cause damage to the ring land and the cylinder wall and both will lead to catastrophic engine damage. If your engine is going to be supercharged and make less than 15 pounds of boost, this is the column you'd use. Now say your bore was 4030, you would multiply that by 6 thousandths and it would equal 24 thousandths for your top ring gap. 4030 times 5 thousandths for your second ring gap would equal 20 thousandths. Spark bolts, or the proper term spark plugs, also require gap to function properly. Now that gap is also determined by the power level of the engine, but the theory is total opposite of ring gap. The higher the power level of the engine, the tighter the gap on the spark plug is going to be. The reason being, the higher amount of cylinder pressure, the more energy you need for the spark to jump the gap in the spark plug. Now by tightening the gap up, you increase the spark potential, which requires less energy to bridge the gap with that same spark. Daily drivers with stock type engines usually have a spark plug gap in the 50 to 60 thousandths range. High performance street and strip cars usually have it a little bit tighter at 40 to 50 thousandths. Supercharged engines under 15 PSI boost have a gap in the neighborhood of 30 to 35 thousandths. And very high specific output engines like an NHRA Pro Stocker can run gaps as tight as 24. Well, I hope this gives you an idea of gaps, whether they're big and small. And join us next time for more engine power tech.